Good evening. I'm Dawn Hart, principal at Spring Ridge Elementary School. We want to take the time to welcome each and every one of you here this evening. The students and teachers have worked extremely hard and they're very excited to be able to show you their performance this evening. Spring Ridge is very proud to present a variety of musical groups and selections for you this evening. You'll hear the orchestra, the band, and the fifth grade chorus. As a reminder, please silence your cell phones, and if you don't mind, please waiting between performances to exit the, the auditorium. And now I present to you the Spring Ridge Orchestra under the direction of Michelle Lacassis. <laughs> All the woods are waking, sun is rising high. Wake up, now get up, before the dew is dry. This lovely musical canon sends the melody all around our orchestra. Imagine the trees coming back life, the flowers in full blossom, the grass growing, all in the warmth of the beautiful sunlight. Spring has sprung. Our musical journey now takes us to the Far East with an energetic ancient folk song, Passage to Asia. It's set in a minor key, giving us a totally different timbre of sound. This song was written in honor of the composer's daughter. We now feature our fourth and fifth grade violinists by memory. Enjoy this exotic treat.
The awakening of spring after a long, cold winter is something exciting to celebrate. The powerful sounds of Beethoven's Ode to Joy echoes that feeling of seeing the bright, warm sun after months of dark gray skies. Third graders gleefully send the melody through their instruments as fourth and fifth graders add a sparkle of harmony to add a new dimension to this familiar tune. We are thankful that Ludwig wrote this amazing music for us to play. We are joyful to play for you this evening. French folk song is a lovely waltz melody that gives our beginning students a chance to show off their memory skills. Each year, this song is used as a badge of honor to celebrate our youngest members of the orchestra. We begin the song with third grade students soaring on the melody using eight different notes of the D major scale while gliding their bows with ease. Playing without music internalizes the learning to where they can play from their hearts and use musical sensibility. Enjoy the rich and gleaming harmony supplied by our fourth and fifth grade musicians. Time to shine, orchestra.
Mrs. Lacastis absolutely loves composing songs for her talented orchestra to play. Wizard Hat is getting its debut tonight. She paints a story with musical notes for each instrument and each grade level in 10 part harmony. Bold rhythms and independent parts weave a passionate thread into the tapestry of sound. The musical landscape lends itself to a magical story unfolding. Passionate and aggressive rhythms drive the beginning selection of this piece set in E minor. The middle section falls into an upbeat jovial forest dance. But what happens next? Listen closely to let the story unfold. songs from the Appalachian Mountains and Shenandoah Valley inspired this lyrical work. Portrayed in this nostalgic melody are the scenic views of nature trails, flowing rivers, and lovely wildflowers that enhance the regal beauty and history of our country. The style of Appalachian hymn is reminiscent of traditional hymns and popular folk tunes delivered with long legato bow strokes. All sections of the orchestra are featured at different times as the melody is passed to each group of the string family. Take it away, Spring Ridge.
It all feels right sets the stage for a beautiful summer day. It is not that far away that we will be enjoying all the fun and happiness that summer brings. Mrs. Lacatsis was inspired by this luscious melody by Ernest Green and couldn't wait to share it with her orchestra students. We will be playing along with Washed Out tonight. We hope you enjoy our last orchestra selection.
and welcome to the band's portion of tonight's concert. Tonight, you will be hearing the students perform their first concert. After only beginning on the instruments 18 lessons ago, a beginner's first band song is called Let's Go Band. story. It can transport you to a different time and place. Our next selection transports us to a time of knights, castles, kings, and queens. Join us as we tell the story of the Sword of Kings.
Our next election was written by Scott Watson. Scott was the guest conductor of district band held at West Middle School in April. Christo Hunsicker, Michaela Rhodes, and Jaeger Hertwig were selected to participate and got to work with this composer. This song also tells a story, a ghost story. Try not to be scared. We dare you to close your eyes as we play. Please no screaming. Leave that to us. We will not play ghosts in the graveyard. Voyages of one of, I, of one of China's great naval admirals are deprecated through the sounds of winds and percussion. The music portrays the might of this fleet of 250 ships that ruled the seas of the Orient.
for the band's last song, we will be performing a rock and roll classic. It can be heard in any stadium in the United States. This power rock song has only one understandable word that is sung or shouted in the song. From this one understandable word, we get its title, The Hey Song. Please feel free to join. It is my pleasure to present to you the fifth grade orphan drum ensemble. These students rehearse once a cycle at 8:10 in the morning. So a big shout out to their parents who got them to all the rehearsals since January. They have prepared two pieces for you this evening. The first one is called I've Got a Play, and the second one is entitled The Man in the Hay, which will take you right down on the farm, as is our theme at Spring Ridge this year. Our fifth grade orf and drum ensemble.
We are proudly taking you down on the farm with the fifth grade chorus's portion of tonight's concert. The first melody the chorus is performing features seven familiar f folk songs. Listen carefully and you will hear that two of these well-known melodies highlight the farmer's quacking ducks. We certainly hope these seven silly songs bring a smile to your face. Without televisions, video games, and other electronics, people in the colonial American times entertained themselves with music. They would gather at the end of the day with their families to tell stories, dance, and sing songs. In the next election, the chorus takes you out west in the Red River Valley of North Dakota to enjoy these three traditional folk dance melodies featuring the chickens on the ranch. These melodies are performed in beautiful harmony with both the melody and the pian piano accompaniment in Red River Dances.
The title of our next composition is I Bought Me a Cat. However, the farmer in this traditional folk song, Melody, has bought other animals too. Listen carefully to each verse of the melody as new animals are bought for the farm, and eventually all sing together in eight-part harmony. Yes, I said eight-part harmony. I'm sure you're familiar with the story of the three little pigs. The chorus will now scat and sing this story to you with a jazz style melody using lively and highly syncopated rhythms. Jazz music emerged in New Orleans and became incredibly popular in the early 1900s. People still enjoy jazz music today. We have a feeling you will too and that you won't be able to sit still during the performance of the swine song. Three little pigs looking for me. 
as you know, all the students at Spring Ridge this year read Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, which features one amazing pig named Wilbur. This next melody was sung in, Char in the Charlotte's Web movie in honor of Wilbur and his talented barnyards barn stall partner, Charlotte. This ballad is entitled Ordinary Miracle, and it features some very f talented fifth grade soloists and some beautiful harmony. It's not that unusual when everything is beautiful. It's just another ordinary miracle today. The sky knows when it's time to snow. No need to teach us seed to grow. It's just another ordinary miracle today. Life is like a gift they say. Just another ordinary miracle today. Before the chorus sings its last piece, we would like to thank Miss Marilyn Zinn for accompanying us tonight. We are very fortunate to have her talent at this concert. In addition, a special thanks to our reliable page turner, Miss Chris Snyder. Yes, that is a typical sound of a donkey. In the movie Shrek, the donkey can actually sing, though. The chorus will now perform its final song from Shrek called I'm a Believer. This is an excellent ex example of rock and roll style of music and also features some of our talented fifth grade soloists. Fifth grade chorus sings I'm a Believer. true in fairy tales 
meant for someone else but not for me love was out to get me that's the way it seemed disappointment haunted all my dreams then i saw her face now i'm a believer Thank you for all the teachers for helping us do so good in this concert. Thank you. Again, thank you to our teachers and students for an outstanding performance. Thank you, parents, families, for the time and dedication you've allowed these students to put into this music. And um, they've done such a great job. So one more round of applause. Thank you very much for coming, and have a safe evening.